What happens when the glittering world of royalty meets the dark underbelly of crime? It's a question that takes us into the heart of an unexpected narrative, where the opulence of royal life intersects with the grim reality of murder. Let's delve into the life of Jane Dawn Elizabeth Andrews. Born on the 1st of April 1967, Andrews found herself within the hallowed halls of royal society, serving as a personal dresser for Sarah, Duchess of York. From the outside, it might have seemed as though she was living a fairy tale. Yet, behind the scenes, a different story was unfolding, one marked by tumultuous relationships and psychological struggles. Andrew's troubled past and ongoing mental health issues lay hidden beneath a veneer of royal propriety. As she navigated the world of the royals, she was also dealing with her own demons, a volatile mix that eventually led to a tragic end. Her life was far from the grandeur that many associate with the royal court. It was filled with a series of relationships, each more tumultuous than the last. A failed marriage, a turbulent liaison with a former stockbroker, and a history of psychological problems painted a stark contrast to her outwardly opulent lifestyle. This dichotomy between her public and private lives, between the royal and the mundane, the beautiful and the broken, sets the stage for the shocking crime that was to come. As we delve deeper into Andrew's life, we see that the royal courts, the epitome of elegance and opulence, are not immune to the dark and sinister elements of human nature. This tale serves as a chilling reminder that even amongst the highest echelons of society, the most heinous acts of crime can find a foothold. The royal courts, it seems, were not immune to the heinous acts of crime. In the quiet of September 2000, a crime of passion unfolded. The tranquility of the month was shattered by a brutal act, a murder committed by none other than Jane Andrews, the former royal dresser to Sarah, the Duchess of York. The tale is a twisted one. Jane, who had a troubled childhood and battled psychological issues, was living a life of relative opulence. She had a series of relationships, including a marriage and a tumultuous liaison with Thomas Cressman, a former stockbroker. Their relationship was stormy, marred with arguments and disagreements, and it was one such heated argument that set off a chain of events leading to a tragic end. Jane, pushed to the brink, let the dark shadows of her past take over. In a fit of rage, she took the life of her lover, Thomas Cressman. The details of that fateful night are chilling. A disagreement turned violent, a crime of passion committed in the heat of the moment. And then, the aftermath. Jane, consumed with panic, fled the scene, leaving behind a life she knew and stepping into the unknown, a fugitive on the run. Jane's flight from the scene was the beginning of a saga that would grip the nation. A woman who once dressed the Duchess was now on the run, a murder suspect, her face splashed across every newspaper and television screen. Her previous life of luxury was now replaced with a life on the lam, evading the law and living with the guilt of her actions. In the days that followed, the British elite were left reeling. A crime of this magnitude, committed by someone from within their ranks, was unheard of. It was a tale that shook the very foundations of their world, ripping apart the illusion of a perfect untainted life. A royal dresser turned fugitive, a tale that shook the very foundations of the British elite. As the law raced against time, Jane Andrews was on the run. The ripple effects of the crime had sent shockwaves far beyond the confines of the royal court. A former royal dresser, now a fugitive, was being hunted by law enforcement agencies. Even as the public grappled with the shocking news, the manhunt for Jane Andrews had begun. It was a tense period, filled with uncertainty and disbelief. Andrew's sudden transition from a royal dresser to a murder suspect was a narrative that was hard to fathom, let alone accept. The woman who had once enjoyed a life of opulence was now on the run, hunted and haunted. The police were relentless in their pursuit. Tirelessly, they followed leads, piecing together the puzzle that was Jane Andrew's escape. The net was closing in, and it was only a matter of time before the law caught up with her. Finally, the inevitable happened. Jane Andrews was captured. This marked the end of her days on the run, but the beginning of a new chapter, the trial. The eyes of the world were now on the court proceedings as the legal machinery cranked into gear. It was here that the details of the crime would be laid bare and the fate of Jane Andrews would be sealed. The public and the royal court watched on, their disbelief now replaced with a grim acceptance. The woman who had once walked the halls of the royal court was now standing before a court of law accused of a grave crime. It was a fall from grace that was as tragic as it was shocking. 
The trial that followed was as riveting as it was revealing. Each day brought with it new revelations, painting a picture of a troubled woman caught in a deadly spiral of events. As the evidence was presented, the narrative of Jane Andrews, the murderer, took shape. The woman who had once served royalty was now a prisoner of her own actions. Justice, it seems, had finally caught up with Jane Andrews. The hunt was over, the capture was complete, but the story of Jane Andrews was far from over. The next chapters would be written within the walls of a prison cell as the former royal dresser grappled with the consequences of her actions. In the courtroom, a life sentence was handed down, but that was not where Jane's story ended. The gavel fell, and a life sentence was pronounced, marking a grim turn in the life of Jane Andrews, a former royal dresser. The courtroom echoed with the weight of the verdict, an echo that seemed to resonate with the complexities of Jane's life. A life of opulence and privilege was replaced with the stark reality of prison bars and the label of a convicted murderer. What came to light during the trial was not just the crime, but also Jane's struggles with mental health. She was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, a condition that often results in impulsive behavior and unstable relationships. This revelation added another layer to the narrative of a woman pushed to the brink, her past and present colliding in a cataclysmic act of violence. But even behind bars, Jane's story took unexpected twists and turns. In 2009, she managed to escape the confines of the prison, a feat that sent shockwaves across the nation. However, her taste of freedom was brief. She was recaptured soon after and her prison sentence continued. Jane's journey didn't stop with her incarceration and escape. She made several attempts at early release, each time facing the judgment of the law. Her pleas for freedom were repeatedly denied, a testament to the severity of her crime. But in 2015, a glimmer of hope appeared. Jane was released on license, a decision that was met with a mixture of relief and controversy. It was a step towards redemption, a chance for Jane to rebuild her life beyond the prison walls. A life marked by crime, punishment, and redemption, Jane's story continued to unfold. The wheel of fate took another turn for Jane Andrews in 2018. After three years of freedom, she found herself once again behind bars. This time it was not for murder, but on allegations of harassment a stark contrast to her former royal life, yet a familiar setting for Jane. In the cold gray confines of the prison, time stood still. Yet, outside the world moved on and so did the wheels of justice. The probation board, after deliberations, decided to place her in a probation hostel. A halfway house, if you will, where Jane would serve her time while under strict supervision. Life in a probation hostel is a far cry from the gilded halls of the royal palace. Here there are rules to follow, chores to be done, and a curfew to be adhered to. Yet, it was a step closer to freedom, a freedom that Jane had once enjoyed and lost. In 2019, Jane Andrews walked out of the probation hostel, a free woman once again. But her past, etched in the annals of crime history, could not be left behind in the hostel or the prison cell. The royal dresser turned convict was now trying to navigate life outside the prison walls. As of now, Jane Andrews remains a figure of interest, her life a testament to the drastic turns one's life can take. From the royal courts to a prison cell, from freedom to captivity and back again. A life marred by turbulence and crime, yet a life that continues to unfold with every passing day. From the royal courts to a prison cell, Jane Andrews' journey is a chilling reminder of how lives can be dramatically altered by a single act of violence.